Guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd pop out um, into a little bit of woodland where I've been before. I wanted to take a look at a new tent. It's the Burke House Chevy 2. So I thought I'd give a just have a look at it because there's nothing about on the internet or on YouTube. Well, there's stuff about on 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 the internet, but YouTube's a bit scarce with it. So um, I thought. I'll be the first. So yeah, let's get cracking. I'll put the outer up first, then I'll show you how to clip the inner in because it is in two parts. So yeah, I'll catch you a bit. So the first thing I want to show you on the tent is it's got compression straps to hold the bag in place. So the bag's pretty good, compression straps. There we go. Right, so the tent actually comes with a repair kit. Let's have a look at the pegs. So you got your standard alloy pegs. Pretty light, to so I think there's 20 in there that you get with the tent. And poles. A bit dull today. <laughs> so your poles, I believe. Cold coded. So your red one is for your your front porch, or your doors. And the two blue ones on the main structure of the tent. Alright, is there a puddle? How to be? Uh, how to pull up here? Hi guys, so there we have it, the outer pull up, I still don't know how to work these straps properly, so I couldn't tell you on that one, but yeah, alright, I'll show you how to put the inner in now. <laughs> Uh, so this is the end, of, the end of the tent. So that's the front. And you've got these do on the bottom of the tent. There's 
that one. So you've got these little tabs. Yeah. So you got these little tabs. Which you can. I'll show you. The Yukon's are little plastic boots. Let me just take you off this so I can show you it. So they don't look the right way, I mean. Yukon to them plastic cooks going around there. That's where they Yukon to. Right. It's getting all over the place now. GP gimbal. Right, so what I'll do, I'll look it in, I'll take you off the tripod properly and I'll give you a look around. Gone and taken my glasses off and left them on the floor in there. <laughs> oh, it's a bit warm in there. I don't know. The, the porch area, you can actually fold that up and tuck it away so you don't have to, have to, have to actually have the house if you don't want to but yeah that's what I'll do I'll take you off the tripod so you can have a look around the tent okay right see you in a minute right guys so you have it this is the beer house Chevrolet 2 so like I was saying you can actually roll this mat up and tuck it away I haven't pegged it out properly, but these are guidelines. These are bright, so you can actually see them at night. The pole sleeves are meshed to help with wind resistance. As you can look, as you can tell, it's all right. It's a decent tent. Um, that's a vent there for stop your condensation build up. All right, let's take a look inside, guys. So your door, you can actually fall the way, and you can actually tie it. It's pretty dark in there. Well, it is to me, but it comes up red for you. So you got some pockets here, pockets this side as well. So you got four pockets. You can actually sleep with your head towards the door with this one as well. But yeah, it seems strong. So yeah, there we have it. It's the Chevrolet 2. I'll go drip a step further back. So I can have you. There you go. The Chevrolet 2, guys, by Birk House. It's goth. Right, let me sit back down. So, I've got some stats on the tent. I've wrote them down because I only forget them. Bear with me two seconds. So, it's got a 5,000mm hydrostatic head, um, polyester ripstop. It's got um, a multi-way zip door. Mesh poles, which I've already told you about, the sleeves, where the poles go in. See, that's to help wind resistance. Um, it's got the tension straps on the thingy by the poles. So, get your yeah, more thingy. Poles are aluminium. Pegs at Alabama, comes with a repair kit, like I told you. So, yeah, that's it, guys. So, that's the, the beer house, the, the Chevette 2 by beer house. So, yeah, 
Hope you enjoyed the video and smash the like button and drop us a sub. All right, I'll give you another a run around the tent now so you can have a, a better look. I know I've just rambled on a little bit and got the camera all over the place. So, so yeah, I'll give you another look at it. I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Peace.